celebrities. Today I got a knock on my door and it was a huge box of Blue Apron food delivery. Have you guys ever heard of Blue Apron? <gasps> this box is really heavy. Look, I'm lifting weights here. Do you see my guns? What? We have an insulated bag full of the food. I'm going to just pick it up, put it on my counter, and put the box on the floor because we don't need that box right now. Blue Apron gave me three meals today and they gave me a letter saying, hello, Gigi, you are super awesome and you are going to enjoy our food. Actually, it doesn't even say my name on it, but we're gonna pretend it does. So the meals that Blue Apron gave me today are spiced lamb burgers, a chicken milanese, and cod and miso soba noodles with multicolored cherry tomatoes and eggplant. Right now, what I'm already noticing is they don't necessarily cater to people with food allergies. I remember being on the website and thinking, I wanna select specific meals for myself because I can't eat a lot of different foods. But there were no options for that. So right off the bat, this meal delivery service is for people who can pretty much eat anything. Anyways, let's look in this cellophane here. It's like Christmas. Likes to rip open boxes and bags and wrapping paper. That's me. First thing that I see are panko breadcrumbs, something that I will not be eating. I also see some arugula. Ooh, we've got some Thai basil, corn on the cob, Shivani Greek yogurt, some mint. Ooh, mint. A zucchini. Ooh, cherry tomatoes. I love me some cherry tomatoes. We have some lamb burger knickknacks, whatever that means. <laughs> I can only imagine what's in this one. What is this? We have a piece of cardboard, which I won't be eating, although I'm sure it's high in fiber. Ah. Oh, here's a huge ice pack. What I was also told is if you are not home when your delivery service comes, don't worry about it because there's lots of ice packs in here, which is probably what made this box really heavy. We have a whole head of romaine lettuce, some scallions. We've got some soba noodles that I will not be eating. Cod and soba noodle knickknacks. Oh, here's the cod. I was getting a little nervous. I didn't know if they actually had the proteins included in this box here, but thankfully they do. Chicken, premium ground beef and ground lamb. And we've got some non gg approved buns here because they're white and processed, so that's no fun. But my taste tester, who will be on in a minute, she'll love these. Then we have some chicken milanese knickknacks. I like that they say knickknacks, it's pretty cute. We've got a little cucumber. We've got these fun little cute eggplants. We've got a red onion and we have a lemon. So that concludes everything that's in this bag. See, nothing else is in here. So I can just go like that. Okay, I have all of my ingredients laid out here for the soba noodles and the cod. Now, I'm very curious as to what's in this little package right here of cod and soba noodle knickknacks. So, let's open this up. Woo! We've got sesame oil, and it's perfectly portioned for you. Ponzu sauce, peanuts, some ginger, and we have white miso paste. I have never used that before in my life, but I'm actually very curious, and I want to smell it right now. Whoa, kinda wanna go like this. Anyways, that was in my little brown baggie of goodies, or excuse me, knickknacks. With all of these ingredients, you might be a little stressed out thinking, what the heck do I do with all of them? Well, fret not, because Blue Apron actually gives you a step-by-step -step instruction manual as to how to prepare everything. Basically, Blue Apron is catering to the people who don't like grocery shopping, but actually really enjoy cooking. So we're gonna give this a go. And you know what? I think I need a sous chef right now because this could be a lot of fun for more than just one person. So I'm gonna invite Vianessa, you've seen her before, to come on over here so we can get dirty, messy, and then eat up our delicious creation. Vianessa, get your booty on over here. Hello, Gigi. Long oh, hello. No get on this side. You know I like to stand over here. I don't know why, but I do. I'm a creature of habit. Okay, first things first, we need to heat a medium pot of salted water for the soba noodles. I think we can handle that. Why don't I do that? Okay. And you can read the next step. Have the tomatoes. Peel and mince the ginger. So we can start with the tomatoes. All right, as she halves those tomatoes, and she's also going to peel and mince that ginger. It then says to cut off and discard the root ends of the scallions. Thinly slice the white bottoms and cut the green tops into half-inch pieces. I can do that. <laughs> can I just point out that all of this is still part of step one? 
So that's not exactly half. I kind of like thirded that. Up. Way to go. Way to ruin Sorry, that entire I just, recipe. I, the dish it is it's not ruined. gonna taste good anymore. That's I don't know why I invited you to help me out. Okay, so I just did the scallions. You're working on that ginger. Then it says, cut off and discard the stem of the eggplant, half the eggplants lengthwise. Then slice crosswise into half inch thick pieces. My goodness, this is a science experiment right now. You know, I have to say, I'm pretty sure you don't have to do this exactly according to the steps, but we're gonna try. Okay, so we have everything cut up. Now we need to make the sauce. I'll be honest, I'm gonna read this out loud to you and you can put it all together. Pick the Thai basil leaves off the stems, discard the stems, then roughly chop the peanuts. Next up, whisk together the ponzu sauce, so put that in the bowl, ponzu with sauce. the sesame oil and the miso paste. And then I have to give you two tablespoons of water. Okay, here's one tablespoon of water, and then- Keep it coming. Here is the second. Looking good, looking Smells good. Smells so good. Oh my God, that's so good. This sauce right here, could be a salad dressing, could be a topper for fish, as it is gonna be here. It could be a topper for chicken. It could be a topper for everything. Yeah, so let's just remember that. Miso paste, soy sauce, and sesame oil. Put it on your eggs for breakfast. Can I be? I am taking it a little too far. <laughs> now it says, in a large pan, non-stick if you have one, heat two tablespoons of oil in medium-high heat until hot. Now, I hope you all have oil at home because they don't supply it. Add the tomatoes, the white bottoms of the scallions, and the ginger, season with salt and pepper. Cook, stirring occasionally for one to two minutes or until it's fragrant and the tomatoes have softened. Transfer to the bowl of sauce, stir to combine, wipe out the pan. I'm going to sneak a taste. This reminds me of something that you would go to a five-star restaurant and eat, but you get to make it in your own home. Okay, so we did the tomato step. Now in the same pan, we are gonna put the eggplant and we are gonna cook it over medium-high heat for six to eight minutes or until the eggplant is soft or nicely brown. Then we are gonna transfer it to the bowl that has the sauce and the tomatoes. But don't put that pan away yet because we're going to be using it for the cod. Now while the eggplant cooks, add the noodles to the pot of boiling water and cook for five to seven minutes or until tender. Drain thoroughly and rinse under warm water to prevent sticking. Now it's time to prepare the cod. Season it with salt and pepper on both sides. In the pan that you use to cook the eggplant, add the seasoned fillets and cook for two to four minutes per side. Remove them from the heat. Looky, looky, the fish is done. Here are the noodles. They're all cooked and ready to go. We're gonna mix the sauce into the noodles. We're gonna break the rules a little bit. The noodles sound all saucy. Sexy noodles. Saucy mix Sexy right here. soba noodles. Okay, if you could compare this dish right here to a celebrity, the first name that popped into my brain was Adrian Brody. My masterpiece. Look at that scrumptiousness. I'm ready. It is feeding time. Very, very excited. How long do you think that took us? I don't know, maybe like 20, 30 minutes? So if you have that time, this is perfect. I would actually recommend this for people who don't know how to cook. It kind of walks you through everything step by step. It makes it really easy. So I'd imagine after getting this for a while, you'd probably get a hang of the recipes and if you yeah. wanted to venture off and you yeah, know, cook this, something on your own, you totally could. Essentially, Blue Apron is your take-home chef teacher. It's like you're taking cooking classes in the comfort of your own home. Mine's too pretty to eat. This is actually really good. It's really light, but full of flavor. I thought I might be overpowering a little bit. Mixed with the noodles, though, it actually kind of it balances, it balances it out. out a little bit. Yeah, I'm definitely a happy camper. I think the flavors are all here. I think this is a really great way to increase your cooking ability and make really scrumptious meals. For instance, you could order more of these and have a little dinner party and really impress your guests. They don't even know that Blue Apron's your little kitchen secret. Anyways, we have a lot of food to finish here, so we're gonna do that. To everyone who's watching, do tell us whether or not you've ever tried a meal delivery service. If so, which one and what were your thoughts? Have you ever tried Blue Apron before? And don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Yeah, this girl's gonna go shove that in the face. Sure am. Actually, one of my favorite things to do, which is gross, but I like to take the pan, because there's all that stuff on there, and I actually like to eat that off. It's really weird, but it's oh, a true GG. It's a true story. I don't like to waste food. This is delicious. That's not really food, that's like burnt. It's not burnt. It's Fish crispy. Cells. It's crispy, that's why I like it. See, crispy.